If you are new to webnasos.org, start by signing up for a free account. Enter your name, email address, and password, and click on Create Free Account. You will be directed to the Featured Publications page. Select a dataset from the list of publications to start annotating a demo dataset. To move around the dataset, hold the left click on your mouse while dragging, or use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Use the mouse wheel to move along the third axis. The spacebar alone or combined with the shift key will achieve the same movement. Zoom into one of the 2D viewports with the I and O keys. Alternatively, use the mouse wheel while holding Alt. To move in the 3D viewport, hold the left mouse button. Zoom in and out as described earlier for the 2D viewports. Hold the right mouse button to rotate the 3D structure. Press the dot key while hovering over one of the viewports and it will maximize. You can also click the button located in the upper right of each port. Toggle the left and right sidebars by pressing the keys K and L. Alternatively, click the buttons in the top corners of the sidebars. Adjust the layout to your preference by dragging the edges of the viewports. Restore the default layout by accessing the Layout item in the drop-down menu. Now that you are familiar with the controls, we can start annotating. To begin, click on Create Annotation. Navigate through the dataset and zoom in to find the cell you want to annotate. Select the brush tool to create your first volume annotation. Use the eraser tool to correct mistakes. Create a new segment by selecting a new segment ID. Use the trace tool to draw more precise contours. Now, let's explore the smart tools of Webnasos. Choose the Quick Select tool and turn on the AI option. Draw a rectangle around the cell you want to segment. Create and annotate new segments by pressing the keyboard shortcut, C. Quick tip! When dealing with long and complex shapes, try drawing multiple rectangles on different areas. The annotations will merge and your complex shape will be segmented in no time. Now, annotate a new segment. Next, jump a few more slices in the Z direction. Annotate your cell again. Click the Interpolation tool. Webnasos just segmented each slice in between the two and saved you time. Repeat this super fast workflow as much as you need. The combination of these two tools enables highly efficient 3D annotation. Webnasos can also render your volume annotation as 3D mesh models. For this, right click on an annotated segment and click Compute Mesh. Hide the planes in the 3D viewport to fully enjoy your 3D mesh. If you want to have a look at even more impressive meshes, go to the featured publication and choose a dataset with an existing mesh file. Right-click on a segment and choose Load Mesh. Maximize the 3D viewport and enjoy the view.
Webnosos also support skeleton annotations. Skeletons consist of nodes connected by edges and are typically used to map long biological processes. Make sure the skeleton tool is selected. Add nodes by left-clicking. To move them, drag them using the left mouse button. Access the context menu with the right mouse button to delete nodes, or to mark them as branch points. The context menu also lets you measure trees' path lengths and explore other options in an intuitive way. You can also use nodes to add comments. To do this, select a node and enter your comment in the Comments tab. Note that Webnosos auto saves your work regularly. You can also access older versions of your annotation by clicking Restore Older Versions in the drop down menu. You might have observed the sidebars located on the left and right hand sides of your screen. The left sidebar displays the layer system and additional settings, while the right sidebar shows data and annotation information. Let's have a look. Webnosos works with a layer system, similar to Photoshop. You will usually have the raw data layer at the top, as well as optional additional color layers. You can change the opacity and use the histogram to change the contrast of your data. Then, you will find the segmentation layers for volume and skeleton annotations. Adjust and explore the different available settings, and toggle the visibility of the annotation layers as needed. Once a volume annotation layer is active, you can start annotating. The right sidebar contains various tabs with distinct information. Alongside the Info tab, which provides details about your dataset, you will also find tabs for segment and skeleton annotations. There, you will be able to select the items, change their colors, organize them in groups, and locate them within the viewports. Now, I will show you how to work with your own data. To add a dataset, go to the Dataset tab and click on Add Dataset. Give your dataset a name. Choose which teams will have access to it and a target folder. Drag and drop your files in one of the many supported formats, and, if necessary, set the voxel size. Finally, click on Upload to complete the process. Open your dataset and work on it with the extended capabilities of Webnosos. When you're ready to share it, copy the sharing link and send it to the recipient. The recipient then simply has to click on the link to access the dataset. Settings such as the view, layer, and mesh visibility will be retained. To organize your project, create a new folder and add the corresponding datasets. Next, create a team. Click on Add Team and choose a name for your team. 
add members by setting the teams and permissions for each user. Edit the folder settings to allow access only to the designated team. To share your annotation, open it and select Share from the drop-down menu. Choose the teams for which this annotation should be listed and adjust the settings to allow editing. The annotation will appear in your collaborators list and they can start editing. Webnosos makes it easy to download and export annotations as TIFF images. Start by creating a bounding box with the bounding box tool. Adjust it so that it covers the desired area. Then, access the Download option from the drop-down menu and select TIFF Export. Choose the layer you want to export and click Export. The TIFF stack will be saved in your download folder. To automate this process with Python, Follow the same initial steps. Select Python Client in the download modal, then copy the provided code. Use the Python lib documentation for more code examples to interact with your data. Run the code on your computer to complete the process. Webnosos integrates seamlessly with other analysis softwares enabling you to work with datasets from tools like Neuroglancer and Fiji. Let's see an example of importing a Neuroglancer dataset to Webnosos. First, find the release dataset you would like to import online and copy its URL. In Webnosos, click on Add Dataset and select Add Remote Dataset. Paste the link, then click Add Layer. Similar to adding local data as we saw earlier, choose a target folder. Define a name for your dataset. Set the voxel size. And click Import. Once the dataset is imported, open it and enjoy the view.